For the thousand years that the holy temples stood in Jerusalem, sacrifices was the heart of the Jewish religion. Our ancestors offered sacrifices to express thanks, to mark holidays, and to make things right with God that they believed they had aggrieved. The sacrificial system was a form of uh, progressive taxation. Rich people brought bulls, middle-class people brought goats or sheep, and poor people brought pigeons or wheat. In our coronavirus age, we are all being called upon to make sacrifices. In this case, and for the common good, unfortunately, the coronavirus sacrifices are not progressive. In fact, to the contrary, they are exactly the opposite. They are regressive. Poor people, those living from paycheck to paycheck, suffer more than others. Millions of Canadians are now without work. The government budget is buckling under the burden of the coronavirus relief for those directly impacted. The elderly and the infirm also have additional sacrifices compared to others. They may be more isolated than others. They may be in a more dangerous situation because of their age and their infirmity, and thus can't be out in public the way we might feel more comfortable being out there. Even for simple things, like a trip to the grocery store, causes anxiety. Now, while we are gradually reopening and returning to normal life here in our beautiful city of Montreal, the coronavirus is not done with us yet. Thus, we must continue to make sacrifices, continue to be careful with physical distancing and wearing masks lest we trigger another wave even though some things are reopening, especially with our elderly and older and infirm congregants. It is certainly not going to be possible for all of us to be physically together in the upcoming high holidays. And I know many of you are anguishing over this. We learned about this very quickly during Passover. We have other ways to form community besides being all physically present in the same room. This year, Rosh Hashanah will not be solely about reflection and introspection, but more importantly, committing to be an integral part of the community by continuing to open our hearts, taking care of the more vulnerable in our society. The gathering together virtually, make no mistake, together we will weather this difficult time and come out of it strengthened as a community, serving God and taking care of each other.